I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is PLS Tips with Manny. I'm your host, Manny the Man Lopez, and today uh, we've got some great stuff to share with you. Each week I give you guys some new tips on strategy, marketing, branding, uh, giving you guys self um, really confidence in marketing and branding your products out there and services or yourself. So this week we're going to go ahead and share uh, my secrets to success, how I became successful, why I'm successful and what I do, what makes me different from everybody else. Okay, It's not you know a lot of uh, uh, you know big things that just make it you know different. Anybody can do what I do. Uh, it's all it is is a decision and whether you as a person want to go down that path, whether you are passionate enough, have enough drive enough, to overcome obstacles because you are going to have a lot of obstacles in your business. You're going to have obstacles in life. You're going to have obstacles in relationships. You're going to have obstacles in anything that you do. The difference is, is how you react react to those obstacles. All right. So I'll give you guys a quick recap of uh, the last couple weeks. Last week we did not do PLS tips uh, because my daughter was actually in the hospital. She's home now. So everything is good there. Uh, she had a little bit of case of RSV. It's a virus, I guess, little kids uh, are getting everywhere. Um, my two boys got it in their school. Uh, they had to take off of school as well. And um, just is bad, man, bad, very bad. But, uh, you know, we all got that behind us now. We're moving forward and we are too blessed to be stressed. So I'm keeping it moving. So today I want to give you guys uh, some of the things that I'm doing that makes me successful. What, why, why do I do what I do? Why am I where I'm at today? And how can you duplicate what I do? Because that's all it is. You guys are watching this video so you can learn strategies on what I do, how I do it, so you guys can duplicate it, all right? So one of the first things that makes me successful is first, I have passion. I have passion for what I do. Um, I educate myself on my industry, okay? In order for me to be what I'm doing, where I'm at, um, I'll give you kind of a little bit of insight of what my main passion is. My main passion is is create, design, um, helping, coaching, things like that, where I can show people a step by step strategy and watch them do it and, and see the results from it. That excites me when I see somebody that, for example, you know, I have people that will message me on Facebook or they'll they'll email me or they'll text me and they'll say, "Hey, Manny, I checked out your training." I did some of these strategies and this is the result I had with it. I just wanted to share it with you. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Or, you know, whatever. Maybe they have questions about how to do certain things. And, you know, then they get a nice, good understanding of what I do. And they, oh, that's just, that made it click. Great. Awesome. You know, I love being able to teach others on the new strategies, new technologies that are available to them. Because most businesses, most business professionals that I come across, they go by what everybody else is doing. Right? They want to get their company on Google, they do SEO, or they're doing pay-per-click advertising, or you know, using social media to try and grow their business. You know, a lot of that stuff uh, is getting outdated. You know, a lot of the technologies that I teach on is, is very unique. You know, when you do social media, it's great, but I don't know if you knew this, but only 10% of your audience will see those messages. So if you build a network on social media, okay, you build a network via email list, okay. If you don't know this, you only have about a 10% open rate within 24 hours. What I focus on right now is building a mobile network because text messages have a 95% open rate within 90 seconds. Okay, it's very very powerful stuff. Uh, if you want more information on how to grow a mobile network, we can talk privately. I can show you exactly what I do, how I do it. Uh, it's some pretty unique stuff, and uh, it, obviously I'm not going to charge you for anything like that. Um, I don't. I have my resources of income, so whatever I can do to help you guys as affiliates and, and, and marketers for Power Lead System, by all means, reach out. I'd love to be able to show you guys some unique stuff. But today I want to show you guys just the stuff of the mindset of what I do that that keeps me successful and keeps me continually growing my business, and a lot of that is, is just primarily on focus. Okay, I was watching a little video on Anthony Robbins recently and he had said, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this before, where focus goes, energy flows. Something like that, I believe. But basically what it meant is wherever you focus your efforts on, 
that is where your energy will flow. That is where your, your vision, your passion is going to go towards. So if you focus your energy on, you know, gossip and, and sports teams, that doesn't really help you in the, you know, entertainment, movie industry, and that kind of stuff, that doesn't really help you grow. It just distracts you. You have to understand that. You have to understand if you want to grow your business, you want to get to levels unseen, you have to commit to a vision, commit to an action plan, map it out, write it out, put it down on paper, put it on a board and post it on your wall. You got to have something that is continuously keeping you focused on an end goal. For me, I focused on helping an X amount of people. I'm very analytical. I'm a type A first and then analytical second. I would say they're probably 50-50 right there, but a lot of my stuff is focused on making sure I have step-by-step, -step, you know, number to ROI to, you know, hit this amount of calls, this amount of prospects, this amount of return. You know, for me, it's all a numbers game. I got to look at how many people I need to help. Okay, how do I reach that number? Okay, well, there's a set amount of calls I need to make, set amount of presentations I need to make, set amount of contracts I need to send out to get make X amount of sales. It's that simple. So for me, I first outline what it is I like to do in my business, what it is, how many people I'm trying to reach, you know, whatever your business model is, if you're promoting the power lead system, you know, you're going out there and say, okay, I want X amount of people on my business. Well, who do I, how many people do I need to introduce this platform to, to get to that number? And if you have a set strategy and confidence in your product, nothing's going to be able to stop you, right? So for me, it's just, you understand that there's numbers that need to be hit and you just map out those numbers, how to do it step by step and commit to it and do not stop until you hit those numbers. The problem most people see is they get an action plan mapped out and they hit a road bump and all of a sudden, bam, their, their map is done. They, they, it doesn't flow anymore. It's just, it's not possible. No, that's called life, right? Life is going to get in the way of your goals. If you have something positive you're striving for, you're going to have obstacles. You wouldn't believe the obstacles I've had starting my business model this year. Okay, I, I have a new kind of structure of, uh, of bringing in new prospects. I've opened up a sales office. I've committed to a six-figure payroll. For me, I'm all in, right? I, I've committed. I am set. I know what I'm going to be doing over the next 12 months. And that is hitting numbers day in and day out. And we're hitting those numbers, so it's good. But in the process of getting this office up and running, I've had major obstacles. First obstacle, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's go through it step by step. So the first obstacle I have when I got my office, uh, I had committed to the office very early in December, uh, expecting to get the office up and running before the end of the year. So by day one, January 1st, we had everything ready to go. Okay. Obviously that didn't happen. There's some setbacks on a lot of the different things. Uh, the training uh, had, had to get worked on as well. Uh, I went to a hiring phase right at the end of the month. And then right when that happened, my daughter had got admitted to the ER. Okay. She had a, an infection. Um, so that just blew everything out where literally I had a bunch of people hired, ready to start. And day one, literally day one of getting everybody started for training, my daughter goes to the hospital for three days. Right. So everything just stopped. Everything paused. Say, hey guys, put everything on hold. I gotta take care of the family, right? That comes out this what January 5th, uh, we were supposed to start again. Okay. I got everybody ready. Starting day one. Hardly anybody shows up. The guys I know is committed to it, gets in a car crash. That kind of blows out that entire week. Then we had to recommit again. By the next week, I mean it was just crazy what we had to deal with. And then just recently had my daughter go in the hospital again. We had internet go out of our office for the last week, just got it up running today or actually last night. Uh, so I can get this video set up. I mean, it's just one thing after another that should be roadblocks. That should get me to say, you know, throw my hands up and say, forget it. Right. But no, I said, you know what? I'm too blessed to be stressed. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing is going to get in my way that is going to stop me from continuing my passion, continuing on my path to success. You have to understand, you are going to hit roadblocks. You are going to have something that says, no, don't go that route. No, no, no. You, you need to stay complacent. No, no, no. Be safe. Don't take that risk, right? You guys have all de dealt with this. I deal with this on a daily basis myself, but that doesn't stop me. What that just does is motivate me. That means something. I, For me, I'm, I'm a very spiritual guy, right? So when I see something like this, I know it's not just coincidence. It's something that says, hey, Manny, you're, you're on a positive path. 
whenever you start going on a positive path, you change your mindset, you start thinking positive, you start, you know, sharing, you know, positive things with others and trying to uplift them. When that starts happening, you'll notice a lot of negative things start piling into your life. A lot of negative. You'll have uh, relationship issues. You'll have family issues. You'll have friends disowning. You'll have, you know, people coming out the woodwork and doing all this crazy stuff, right? You guys have experienced this, right? I, I have, right? So when you deal with these things, the thing that differentiates from the successful ones and the ones who are always trying to find that success is how they react to that type of situation. Did they sit there and pout about it for the next week and, and change their business model and, and try to redirect and go around it? Or did they say, you know what, I don't care, and plowed right through it, jumped over it and said, you know what, that's not stopping me. I'm still on the same exact path. You got to stay committed to your end goal, okay? No matter what issue comes around, there's not going to be a way to deter you from doing things a different way, okay? The only way if it's literally just impossible to move forward, like if that door just closed, that opportunity is not there anymore, then you have to find a different path. But if it's just a hiccup that's an outside thing that's messing with you mentally, then you have to understand that you are the one who decides how you're going to react to that. You decide if you're going to pout on that, if that's going to bring negative thoughts, or if it's going to say, you know what, no problemo, keep moving, right? So understand that when you want to be successful, you have to have a mindset that says, no matter what comes my way, I'm going to overcome that objection. I'm going to overcome that obstacle, and I'm going to continue on my path, right? Set yourself goals. Set yourself you know, milestones to achieve to keep yourself in a positive mindset. You know, follow Tony Robbins, get a mentor, get somebody like Les Brown to follow or, you know, TD Jakes or whatever, whoever you connect with that inspires you, right? You find somebody that has a similar life path as you, somebody that has done it already, who's been in the same trenches as you and has found their way out. Okay, if you find somebody like that, follow them, do exactly what they do. There's the path is already made for you guys. The path is already outlined in black and white. Somebody has already been the exact same path as you and has overcome that path. You need to find that person or find somebody with a similar path or similar story and be able to look at them as a motivation. Look at them as a source of inspiration because when you have somebody that has already done it, okay, you can look to them and say, you know, what, what did you do when you hit this? You know, if you have a roadblock or something, you have somebody that you can fall back on to say, you know, how can you help me overcome this? What did you do when this came to you? You know, that's what you have to have. If you don't have a mentor, you're not going to have an ability to grow uh, at a pace where you need to. Because if you have to figure out all the answers yourself, it could take a long time, right? And you could hit an obstacle that you don't know how to overcome. But if you have somebody that's already been there, they can tell you, well, this is what you do. This is what I did. This is how I overcame it. You know, I had a sales office back in 2011 for my business, and we had a lot of hiccups. I went through a design team that couldn't handle the amount of work we were putting towards them. Uh, they also couldn't handle the quality of work that I wanted. Um, we had to deal with this thing called chargebacks. You know, I've been sued. I've I've been uh, you know I've been kicked out of my house. I've been my cars repoed. I've I've lived on food stamps. I've done. I've been at the bottom of the barrel. I know how it tastes. I've had the situation where my bank accounts were negative, where you know I not only did I not have a dollar to my name, but I had every single dollar coming in already accounted for to somebody else, right? I've had those situations where it's just, I know how it feels to have nothing. And you don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling. You know, if you guys have been there, you know it's not a good place to be. And for me, it's just, I, I had a mentor that could guide me and say, Manny, I know you're right here. I know it feels like crap. I know it feels like there's everybody coming at you and it's, and it's just bombarding you and, and becoming overwhelming, but there is a way out there. You, if you stay on that path, you stay committed, you're going to get the results, right? If you have, you know, things that are blocking your way, that just means you're onto something really good, right? You know, if, if everything is just easy, smooth running and smooth sailing, you know, that's that's not going to get you the courage and get you the story that's going to say, you know what, I had to deal with all of this to get to where I'm at today. Every single story that has a great outcome has a lot of negative through it. You're not going to see a path to success that is one straight line. It doesn't exist, right? Or maybe you guys are out of this way, right? One straight line, right? I don't know how it's going to show up on your guys' thing. But anyway, it's not going to be a straight line. Right, let's do it that way, right? It's not going to be a straight line. It's going to be 
a line that wiggles, it goes up, it goes back, and it's going to go down, it's going to go this way, it's going to go around that way again, it's going to come back, it's going to go a little path and drop down again, come back, it's going to go around, go up and down, and then it's going to go bam, right? You got to understand that's how path to success is. It's never a straight line. It's never just easy. It's never something that you can just apply for and go into and jump in and pay enough money and everything smooth sailing, right? The bigger the business gets, the bigger problems you're going to have. Okay. Again, you have to understand that your mindset and how you react to these problems is what's going to make the difference of you being successful and you wondering where that next paycheck is going to come from. Right. If you look at, just look at examples, look at the people that are successful and what they do on a daily basis and look at the people that are not successful and what they focus on on a daily basis. I was watching this video recently. Um, it was a, a case study done by, I think, a Japanese scientist or something. I forget exactly what it was. But um, he showed that he filled three different cups. He had three cups of rice, okay? And he poured water in every single one of those cups, okay? And each day, he'd come in, and at the end of the day, he'd tell one, thank you for being right. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, All right? The next one, in the middle one, he'd say, you're an idiot. You suck. I don't like you. Wish you'd die, right? And then the third one, he wouldn't say anything to you. Leave it alone. Okay, after a month, right, the one that he, every day he'd come and do a positive thank you to, stay positive, stay, you know, committed to the success of that person, basically mentoring that rice, that rice ended up becoming a nice aroma smelling. It started releasing some chemicals and stuff and the rice was still white, okay? Very weird, weird. you gotta check this out. It's very weird that it's, this happens, and I would love for you to do it yourself and see how it works for you. Get three cups of rice, fill them with like an inch or two inches of rice, and then pour some water in it, and every day, come to one and tell them positive things. The second one, come and talk about negative things, talk about all the problems and everything that you have, and the last one, just leave it alone. Now, what happened to the middle one was within 30 days, and it become black rice. This is the one that everyone's that you're talking negative to. This is one where your your mindset is just focused on everything negative. You're gonna breathe negative, so nothing positive will come out of you thinking negative. So think about that. So then the next one, the third one as well, that one also became black and dirty for not having anybody talking to it. Again, you're coming to your own mindset. You have nothing that's giving you positive affirmations. You're not following mentors. You're just doing it on your own and not having any structure or any guide or any focusness uh, or any just set game plan or action plan, you're just kind of waiting there doing, you know, kind of going with the flow. Again, that all turned black, that all turned negative. You have to think positive. You have to have positive people in your life. You have to surround yourself with positive people. If you don't want to have positivity in your life, then you are breeding negativity. You're going to have more negative relationships. You're going to have negative days. You're going to have negative moods. You're going to have negative bank accounts. Okay? You want positive bank accounts, positive mood, positive mindset. Surround yourself with positive people. It's that simple, right? And educate yourself. Get yourself acclimated to your industry. If you want, you want to be the best you can be at what you do. Plain and simple. You want to be the answer, the resource, the connector, whatever your personality type is. If you're a type A personality, then you need to be the expert in your industry. You need to be the go-to source of that industry for anything related to your business, right? If you're a nurturing type, if you're the relationship builder, then you need to focus on building as many relationships and building your network as big as you can because then it's all based on referral, word of mouth, all that kind of stuff. If you're an analytical type, and you're type like me. I'm a little bit like type A, type uh, analytical. And that for me is, is working on numbers, working on ROI. You need to have every stat about your business that would be known, with, about your industry that would be known. And then if you're a blueprint type, which is you know the, the military, the policeman type, this is the type that they want a step-by-step -step action plan, then you need to have your entire year mapped out month by month goal by goal, what it is that you're going to be achieving in your business. Okay, That's the only way that you're going to have success. You have to map it out. You have to commit to it. You have to have a clear vision and you need to stay positive. All right. So I want to give you guys with that today, uh, we're going to have some new trainings coming up every week. If you are not a Power Lead System member, uh, you can get access to this training through whoever sent you this link. Uh, they have the ability 
to, uh, to get you on these trainings every week, but you can also get your own account. If you're not a Power Lead System member, I'd recommend getting started. There is a free trial button right below this video uh, that you'll have depending on whoever sent you this link, and get started. Join their team. Our team is my team. My team is everybody, okay? Everybody in the team. So there's no need to jump ship to team this and team this or anything like that. All you have to do is join anybody's team and then get in our Facebook group. We have about 10,000 members right now. Any one of those would be lovely to help you out. I mean, Neil Guest, which is the owner of the system, uh, he's always in there asking, answering questions as well. I'm in there answering questions. Um, we want to be a resource to help you grow whatever business that you're promoting. If you have your nonprofit, you have a direct sales business, a multi-level marketing. If you're an insurance agent, you're you know whatever small business owner, whatever business mind that you have, you can benefit utilizing this system because not only is it going to give you the tools that you need to grow your network, but it's going to have the tools that you need to promote to that network and be able to really brand yourself efficiently and have everything in one simple place, right? So get started with the Power Lead System. Join our team. Get started. Get acclimated with what we have here because once you get on the inside, you're going to be really excited uh, of what this system can actually do. It really will blow your mind. But you'll be able to have access to our trainings. We have a lot more in the back office from our PLS tips that we offer here. Uh, we've got Dottie Berry. She does great trainings every Tuesday as well. Uh, right after this, uh, if, I don't know if you're watching this, on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time or 9 p.m. Eastern. But right after my training, you have Neil Guest that will jump on and really help you guys uh, get acclimated with, uh, with the Power Lead System there as well. But again... Any questions you guys have for me, definitely reach out. I love to help you guys out. If you're already on another team, not a problem. I don't need uh, to get you on my team to help you. If you're on somebody else's team, great, perfect. You're already in the system. Just let me know and just say, hey, I'm with this person. I'd love to be able to learn how to, you know, generate more leads on Facebook or generate leads via mobile devices or you know whatever it is that you're trying to do. Just let me know, and I'll give you a resource on how to do that. And, uh, and a lot of the ways that we do everything is just I got a video how to, uh, or I've got an ebook that I can give you. I've got all kinds of resources to enable you guys to find ways to build your network, either free, using Facebook ads, whatever way it is. I'm not going to charge you anything to teach you how to do what you need to do. Um, I get my you know fees or payment or anything through helping others because the more people I help, I've seen. That it comes back to me. You know, if I help 10 guys this week, all of a sudden I get a random call from a guy who wants, you know, a, a whole campaign and marketing strategies and whatnot because it's just they see the brand value that I can provide out there. So I want to help you guys as much as I can and just let me know how that could be. So uh, reach out as much as you like. Uh, you guys come back to this training every Wednesday. Uh, if I don't have a training, it's going to be some crazy emergency of why I wasn't able to do it. So um, very rarely would that happen. I think. Since we've revamped this, I've only think missed once. So um, let's go ahead and uh, you know let me know what you guys need. Let me know how I could help. Uh, come back next week for a brand new training, and uh, let's let's get this going, right? So always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed, and I will see you guys on the inside. Have a good one. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it.